हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग मॉडल विच आर आई ए एस सेकेंड वन पी ए एस देन एस ए एस वॉट ऑल दीज मॉड्यूल्स आर वॉट आर दीज मॉडल्स फाइन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेटेस्ट कनेक्शन आई ए एस इट मीन्स इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंफ्रा एज अ सर्विस सेकेंड वन इज प्लेटफॉर्म एज सर्विस प्लेटफॉर्म एज अ सर्विस फाइन सॉफ्टवेयर एज अ सर्विस फाइन सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑफ इफ यू गो टू फेस एन इंटरव्यू देन दिस इज वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी पुट टू यू विच कैन बी आस्ट लाइक वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आई ए एस P A A S and S A A S. So let us try to understand first of all what is I A A S. Fine. So I'm going to give you an example of I A A S. What is it? I A A S. Let us assume that you are going to build your own infra. You are hired as a system admin in your organization, and you have a request that you are going to build a server. Fine. that infra has to be on aws for sure okay so now what all things do you know uh, should you you should know before creating that server that you are going to create a vm machine this is vm so what are the things which you know about this vm first of all you should know about the operating system what operating system is it is going to have that will be linux based the box which you are going to create that will be linux based based that will be windows based or whatever fine second one you should know the version of that like rhl5 you are going to use rhl6 or rhl7 you are going to use so the particular version which you are going to use you should know about that then after if you know that how many users are created inside that operating system after that the privileges what all privileges are given to that user after that you should know that how that what is file system file system type that could be ext4 that could be xfs that could be ext3 that could be ext2 or whatever if you know this much then after how many mount points are there that could be slash boot that could be slash that could be slash home or that could be your slash where that could be your slash opt slash data that could be so what all file systems are mounted there what are size if you talk about boot so it could be of 500 mb if you talk about data that could be 5 tb if you talk about home so that could be of 200 gb and so and so on so and so forth fine so if you know about this mount point then then after you should know that what services are running there uh, may be apache is running there may be some other services running maybe that is tomcat and there may be some other services running if you know this much about that particular virtual machine if you know if you know this much about this virtual machine like number of cpus amount of ram allocated to this machine if you know this much information about this machine then you can say like you are working with iaas it means infrastructure as a service because you have all the information about the virtual machine fine but if you talk about paas then how does it make difference about paas 
so p a a s means platform as service fine so what is the difference between p a a s and i a a s i'm going to let you know this is example of i a s this example of p a a s i'm going to describe within a while please wait for a while okay so what all information you know about operating system here you should not worry about that what os is running you should not bother about here how many users are created here you should not bother about about users here if you talk about then you should know about mount points about mount points you should not bother about here if you are working about file system on if you are working as ias then you should not worry about i uh, that you should know about file system but if you are working at about uh, paas then what file system is being used you should not bother about file system that's not your job now let us say that you are going to launch any web service then you are going to work with ias because you know all this information about that but if there is a requirement of database if someone says that you are going to launch one database that is db fine so it means you are going to work with database fine if you are going to work with database and you got a requirement that you need my sql that is 5.6.32 if you got this requirement it means you are working with platform as service because here you should know version of your uh, software whatever you are going to use then after the particular users obviously some users will be created inside this mysql db engine so if you know about the users which are created inside mysql engine so if you know only this much information obviously you should know number of cpus uh, allocated for this machine then after you should know about amount of ram allocated to this virtual machine if you know only this much this much inform this information you have and you this you have this much information so it means you are working with paas fine now let us talk about what is saas s a a s it means software as service software as a service fine so this is example of software as service so now let us try to understand what does it mean and uh, what are example of this so you might have heard of cloud watch you might have heard of a google drive okay there is a question for you guys do you know that what operating system is being used for serving google drive what version of that you are uh, is being used then after what service is being used it yeah, or you can say what software is being used to provide you the interface of your google drive so if you no, know nothing about your background so it means you are going to work with us as aas so this is example of software as service if you talk about aws so there are so many services first of all you uh, you know about uh, cloud watch because we don't know they are going to use nagios they are going to use jabex or they are going to use elixir such for that but we know that you are going to get some interface where you can keep your uh, monitoring enabled you are going to get some interface where you can have your alert configured it means you are working as working with software as service another examples are as and as it means simple notification service then after as qs simple queue service then you can talk about as wf simple workflow service simple workflow service so if you know about only that how to manage manage stuff if you are talking about managing services managing services you are given one interface and you are working with that so it means you are working as you are working with platform as service so this is it for this video guys thank you very much
for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe within my next video i'm going to discuss about a w s details obviously like i'm going to tell i'm going to talk about a w s console then after about services of a w s i'm going to discuss about reason i'm going to discuss about availability zones and other basic component of aws i'm going to discuss so thank you very much guys keep on watching my channel if you like this video please like share and subscribe so you will be updated towards my next videos don't forget to press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos thank you very much